Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing how to create do the deep linking through QR code as well as through the Outlook. Means whenever you have a any link, okay, you will share the link with any user on the Outlook. Once user click on that, then the specific record will open in the Power App. Same with the QR code. Whenever user scan this QR code, okay, so the specific records in the Power App should open. So this scenario we are implementing. So let's go in the power. So now here we have this single page app. Okay, equipment checkout app. Basically, in see this application, we can add the new equipment here. Okay, and we can simply edit. this is very simple application. So let's implement the deep linking to this app. So before that, let's I save this application. And let's publish. After doing this, we have to go to the make dot dot com. Okay, by saving and publishing. Okay, from this sender, let's I publish as well to save our time. Let's I publishing this version. Okay, clicking one more time publish, so it should publish correctly. So now I am in home. Let's go to the app section. In the app section, our app is displaying here. Okay, just five seconds ago, it is created. Let's I go to the details section and simply. We need this link, okay, in the future. So for now, let's I go to the this version and let's take this URL, okay. Let's I copying. Let's I use here the same link, okay, in this tab. Let's I use Control V, adding here ampersand sign and giving ID equal to. So ID equal to we can use any record that we need to open one, two, three, okay. So in my if I go to my Power App Studio in my data section, let's I open the equipment list. Too. In this equipment list, I have created ID column. It is a unique identifier for each record, and it is a number type column. You can take any type of identifier. So it can be, you can be by using lookup function, you can fetch this data. So first step is done. So let's go to the tree section in the app. Previously, we use the param function on the app monster property, but now uh, we cannot be navigate the app. Okay, on the on start screen. Okay, if you go to the for start screen section, this is one more new property is added now. So we cannot be use here the global function. This is one of disadvantages. Okay, so no trick is okay. We have the formulas. Okay, you can use that old one as well. If you go to the settings, okay, and in the update section, in the retire one, you can enable the navigate function in the app on start. But we are not using this. We have the new ways to do this. So let's define that, okay. GBL param equal to param function. We are need to fetch the ID parameter, okay. That's why passing the ID. Basically, param function is used to fetch the parameters from our ID URL, okay. So this is the Parameter we are passing ID source time is also a parameter you can fetch hint is also one of the parameter you can be fetch from the param function so I hope you get an idea so now we can be use this GBL param on the start screen property let's we use if is blank okay we are checking if it is blank then navigate to the screen one okay means screen two in our case let's we pass here screen two and if not then let's directly go to the equipment screen and let's close the is blank function okay so first step is done let's we copy the gbl param and let's go to the let's go to the form let's i selected a form here okay on the forms default mode as well okay we need to use the same okay if is blank GBL param, then use me the form mode, okay, as per the user's condition. If it is not blank, okay, then in that case, use me the form mode dot edit, okay, means any value we are getting from the URL. In that case, open the form in the edit mode. So now it is done. Now we go to the forms item property, okay. In the form item property also, we need to use the same formula. If is blank gbl param 
if it is blank then open the gallery selector record okay and if it is not we will use your lookup function to retrieve the record lookup equipment comma id equal to gvl param and let's close this one close the if function and here we are good to go there it is an incompatible type error we are getting so we will wrap this in the value function so it is identified it is the number type format okay and our error is removed now let's click on the save and uh, let's uh, publish the app here okay three type this publishing this version and let's test our application is working fine or not so uh, here you can be see in the version section this is time 9 okay so it is just not reflecting it let's do the hard refresh one more time and see it is reflecting or not so now this current one is live now so let's uh, play the app so we are navigating to the okay let's refresh one more time okay so we are in the current version let's click on the next and we can be see the first row is so we can see first row is loading properly and we can perform the other operations like edit and other things okay when we are not passing any id parameter so let's say i go to the our link and let's pass id here as a three and let's click on the enter so we should navigate to the record number three here okay so let's see it is working fine or not so we directly navigate to equipment screen here okay and the record number laptop is now open here you can be see here okay we can perform the edit operation and whatever changes we need to do we can be perform it here friends okay then um, now let's uh, integrate here okay outlook operation okay whenever user submit or he needs to share the record let's say uh, we add here one icon okay in this container share icon okay share icon let's change the height and width of this one okay to the 32 and width as well to the 32 here and let's use your power apps v2 trigger okay so for that purpose let's create a power automate flow create a new flow we are sending an out link on the outlook to open the specific record create from blank let's rename this to the send email link okay and in the power apps let's expand and add an input here we only need the id here okay so let's we use the number format let's click on the new step and use here send an email action send an email v2 let's sign off to the outlook 365 here we sign off successfully to whom we need to send this okay so whoever is running this flow to that people we need to send so you can pass the text function okay so for that purpose let's add input and take the user 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 email and from the dynamic content let's use this user email subject let's pass the subject power apps deep linking power apps record id and we will pass the number as id here let's pass the url here okay so let's i go here and copy the url okay so before that we can also use the ampersand sign okay and hide now bar equal to true if you use this one okay so this 
navigation bar okay this power apps bar will hide okay so for that purpose let's we pass the url here okay so this will open the power apps let's click on the new step okay and use your respond to power apps and pass an output to the in the text format status 200 and let's click on the save this one. let's have open my outlook here okay sideways so we can test this one and in power of studio version on the share button let's use the flow okay so flow is adding so let's wait for couple of second let's you pass the flow run okay the number we need to pass okay so we will pass the gallery record gallery 2 dot id selected dot id comma text we need to pass user dot email means where whoever is sending that email we can be passed you can take any text input and pass the email here let's click on the save and let's op i already open the outlook let's go to the play mode in the studio version and let's pass this second uh, one okay like headphone one and let's click on the power automate flow here okay let's check the outlook continue so we receive the email record here okay and the link here as well okay let's we copy this link okay and use here in the navigation bar so friends you can see the third number record is open and also we navigate to the new screen directly okay if i remove this parameter id here okay so let's i go and just removing this one then person as well and click on the enter so we will navigate to the first screen and opening the first record so we are implementing the deep linking through the email successfully now it is time to use the qr code and implement the same one to use the qr code we use the quick chart io okay so this is a freely available tool okay by using that url you can be create the qr codes okay so let's we go and here we have the options okay charts image other things we can be use here so let's see, click on the get started and we will use this one okay let's go back and find the simple one we need the qr code so let's i click on the qr code here and here we, you will get the qr code here you, friends you can see http quick chart dot io and text we can pass it here and this text you will get the qr code on the basis of this text let's i remove the size to 0 and the margin as well 0 so this url we will get here so let's i go to the power apps studio version let's i use the new screen here blank one let insert an image let's make it full screen and in the sample one we will use here url from this quick chat io let's i copy this url let's go to the power apps version paste this one and in the text this much we will keep okay use the ampersand sign to concatenate the url then i will use encode url function to encode our url let's use this windows v and let's pass the power apps url here and just removing this id parameter using here ampersand sign one more time and using here gallery record to dot selected dot id and the, at the end of this i will add ampersand sign id equal to this one and let's close this one okay so you friends you can see we will get the qr code here okay and uh, let's i use this one okay let's go to the equipment screen okay and let's i add here one button okay and use the option to this view qr code so whenever user use this option okay view qr code okay 
and I need to use a navigate function as well to navigate to the different screen screen 3 screen 1 sorry let's close this and let's click on the view QR code so QR code will display for that specific record whenever your user scan this QR code it will navigate to that specific record friends okay that's all if you have any doubt any question you can be asked me in the comment box thanks friends keep learning keep growing keep exploring have a nice day to all